Yo, what's happening everybody? It is your boy Sylvester and today we're back at it with another Sylvester Ramp video. And today we're talking about something interesting and a little different. So, as y'all haven't heard, there's a shit ton of new content coming down for Netflix. For literally, not even next year, but for this year as well. Like the amount of shit that they're popping up, it felt like it was like Netflix con. And they, they just announced shit after shit after shit, dude. It is insane. And I'm just want to let y'all know. And I'm just going to hype it up because I'm like, these are the most three films. So basically, not films, but like, you know, average shit. But um, I'm just going to talk about like the most common, uh, sorry, films that I'm hyped for, bro. Like these are my top three that I cannot wait for. And we're just gonna fucking bump it. Let's go. So, first one we're gonna talk about is the infamous Sonic Prime animated series. So, as you know, all of these films that are coming on here are like exclusive Netflix films. So, like, they're Netflix originals. Okay? So, this is gonna be a Netflix original Sonic show. So, um, the thing with this one is, if y'all haven't heard of it, um, yeah, so a new Sonic show, all in CG, it's coming to Netflix. And as of yesterday, if y'all didn't see it, there was a teaser trailer that finally announced when it was going to be released. And it said winter season. Now, it did give us a year. It's 2022. So, which means we're going to get it by the end of this year. But we just don't have an actual date on when it's going to be released. Gotcha. You still with me? I, I, I. So, yeah. So, that's... I got to say number one because I'm a huge Sonic fan. I got to tell you. This is going to look dope. Apparently, what I've heard from is going to focus more like on story, you know, uh, characters. And as it looks like it's going to base a little more off games, you know, because they have like Green Hill and they showed the rings, too, which I don't know why. But, you know, it might come in handy in the show. But uh, yeah, so that definitely seems worth it. All right. So second thing is this movie called Wendell and Wild. Now, this one is good. As y'all haven't heard, Wendell and Wild is, is basically Coraline style movie where it's all stop motion. So, and it was, these are from the creators who make Coraline. So, and I gotta tell you, that's a good ass movie right there. That is a good ass movie. So the fact that they're making this one not PG, PG-13. Yeah, that's right. It's getting a little more mature rating. This is going to be hype as fuck, dude. This is going to be dope as shit. So, Wendell and Wild, um, it has the two homies that y'all probably know. Key and Peel are starting in this one. Um, and it was produced by Jordan Peel. So, he's really associated in this film. But guys, dude, a PG-13, dude, this this is hype, dude. I cannot wait, especially Jordan. Key and Peele are funny as hell. Like, they make, they're in good movies. They're a duo that's amazing. And the fact that they're making, like, a Coraline-ass movie is going to be sick as fuck, dude. I cannot wait for this shit. Also, it's, this is also coming in 2022. And I think this is a Halloween film. Yeah, I think it's the 28th when it's coming out. And this is going to be a Halloween movie. Oh my god, dude. I cannot wait. This is going to be dope as tits. I cannot wait for this movie. I don't know, but apparently, there's already reviews. It's saying that it's already like 93% Rotten Tomatoes. Like, who the fuck saw this movie? It's like, bitch, how are you already giving a good score when I haven't even fucking seen it yet? The fuck? Bullshit. But um, this is definitely a movie I am hyped for, dude. And it's not even like for kids. That's the biggest thing that got me. I they they rated it PG for Paranorman and Coraline, even though it had like a lot of scary images that weren't for kids. But here they actually just straight up said, "Nah, PG-13. That's it. Fuck it." I am hyped for that shit, dude. This is gonna be litty. And all right, you know for the talk. So last thing we're doing is. Pinocchio. No, 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 no. Not the Disney Plus or the fucking Tom Kenny one. 
We're talking about another one. Yeah, that's right. So if y'all don't know the famous director Guillermo del Toro or Guillermo del Toro, um, he basically directing this film and he's like, basically, yes, he is the director of this film. Another stop motion movie. That's right, homies. Another stop motion movie. You can see where this is fucking going. And so they're making another Pinocchio. That's three Pinocchios now, dude. Three freaking Pinocchio movies now. And one, I think that's all in one year, right? All three of these Pinocchio movies has been in the same fucking year. That's insane, dude. What's with that? Why is everybody making Pinocchio movies now? Okay, so I see what happened. I think they made the first Pinocchio movie, the true story one with Tom Kenny. They made that one. And then Disney was like, ha, nah, bro, we got to do better than that shit. Let me show you up real quick. And then they made Disney plus Pinocchio. And people, <laughs> people were hating on that shit. And then Guillermo del Toro was like, hold my, hold my director's cut, bro. And then they fucking, he said, fuck this shit. I'm going to slice you homies up. And then he made his own version and people are actually liking this version better. I saw the Disney Plus version. It was, there was a few what the fuck moments in there from the original. And I saw the original when I was like in middle school, my teacher, I'd never seen the whole movie, but it wasn't until middle school where like we saw it. I think it was like an assignment or something. And I gotta tell you, the original has, is definitely the king right now. Dude, these two movies that they released this year were shit. They were complete ass, dude. Do not watch them. It's a waste of your time, especially the true story one. Do not watch that, dude. That is the worst of them all. But um, yeah. So this will gonna be another stop motion movie. Looks clean and it's different. Like it's not the typical. He's a boy. Like he's actually made of wood. No paint. No color. Just straight up wood. <laughs> That's all it is. Like so. Gable Del Toro gave him a different image in this one, and it's sick. And as I'm seeing right now, um, Ron Perman is actually going to be in this movie, which is going to be sick. As y'all know, he plays Hellboy. But, um, shit, dude, th this is too much content. Netflix is going ham, dude. I swear to God, Netflix is going ham. They're like, Haha, yo, check this, homie. I'm going to drop so much shit. They all got me buying it, bitch. Like, Netflix is going to be like dreaming in fucking money, dude. Like, damn, they have too much going on right now. And that's all the rest of the year. And there's only like a couple months left before 2023, bro. Like, that's insane. The fact that they're dropping so much stuff is crazy. And people and there's already some good content already on there. Like, um, what was it? My in the three. That was a good ass show. I'm not gonna lie. That was a good ass Netflix show. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, this, this is what I want to talk about. What do y'all think about these films? Do you think they're going to be fucking golden classic Emmy award winning shits? Or are they going to bomb ass? You tell me, homies. Now, that's all I want to know. See you a lot later. Love ya. Peace.